Hey guys, welcome back to Chef HD. My name is George Kringis, and today I'm really excited about this episode. I've used the vertical smoker for the past five years. It's a master built pro. Uh, it's a very good smoker, great insulation. Uh, the temperatures are very consistent. I've smoked everything from chicken wings to, to racks of ribs to brisket, all around a good smoker. So I was a little reluctant to, to take the leap into the Traeger land, but I finally bit the bullet and, and went to Home Depot the other day and grabbed one for myself. All right guys, I'm gonna uh, season the grill right now. It's about 10, 15 on a beautiful New York Friday morning. Got nice weather outside. So we gotta do 350 for about 20 minutes and then 450 for 30 minutes. So let's get going. For my chicken wing, I go with a jumbo party wing. Um, the sizes are very consistent, as you can see here. I just find that these whole wings hold up a little better. They stay a little juicier. All right, guys, so let's talk seasoning. You got about two cups of salt, two cups of kosher salt. You got about a half a cup of pepper, a quarter of a cup of garlic, a quarter of a cup of granulated onion, and sugar. I'm gonna go with a quarter of a cup. Now for the cinnamon, very light, like I said. I'm gonna mix this up really good. All right, for my dry rubs, I like to use something like this. All right, as you can see, this is helping us with cleanup, this setup. So from here, we go right into the smoker. Our smoker is hot. So, what's up guys? I got my beer, I got my Traeger, and we're smoking some wings. All right. <laughs> All right guys, so the next part is the sauce. And my sauce is pretty special. My mother's hometown in Greece, uh, it's called Vlaco Kedasha. Her town is very well known for these cherries. So we got the cherries, our barbecue sauce, balsamic vinegar, salt, and black pepper. Oh, and sriracha. It's up to you again. How spicy you want this thing? Uh, I like a little bit of heat. So the wings are still smoking. I'm gonna show you how to do a quick pickle. So we're gonna take a cucumber, regular cucumber, slice it really thin. So we're gonna use this as a garnish. I like to, to incorporate something pickled with, with heat. Put these in a little pickling jar. All right, so we're gonna add a little salt and a little sugar to our cucumbers to get the juices flowing. Our pickling liquid, seal this up, give it a little shake. It's a beautiful thing. Look at that. All right, we'll let this sit. This will be ready by the time the wings are done. All right, boys. <laughs> so fresh out of the smoker, my first impression now of the Traeger 575. It burns through those pellets pretty fast. I mean, make sure that that hopper is loaded. Um, it shut off on me about halfway through. I didn't think they burned that quick, but they do. That's, that's cooking though. You learn with new equipment as you go. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did this for you guys so you can see what I go through whenever I try a, a new piece of equipment. It's a process. Man, these, these wings look really good. Um, they have a nice amount of smoke on them. I'm not gonna say that they have the same amount of smoke on them that the, the Master Built Pro did for me. I love the dry convection heat that this thing gives off. It's, it's basically like you're roasting uh, with the addition of smoke. I mean, they are beautiful. Okay, so right off the bat, because it's a convection, you can see how much it dried out the skin, which is really nice. Flavor's really good. Flavor's really good. The rub comes out. Got the garlic. Got that cinnamon, which I really like. First step, 
season the wings. Second step, put it in the smoker. Third step, we're about to get to it right now. I'll show you what to do. So, we'll grab some of these big beefy boys, right? You get the drum, you get the wing, all right? All you gotta do is slide your knife down on that joint right there. This kind of just breaks apart at that joint. Take a knife, carve right in there. Now we take our cut up wings, put them into our fryer basket. So you get an order in the kitchen, get a dozen wings, boom, that's how it works. You got your, your, your pre-cooks already done, you're ready to go into the basket. That's a good sound. So what this is doing, what the fryer helps do, encapsulating that smoke flavor inside the meat, giving you that final perfect touch. There's no wrong way to do this. They're gonna come out great no matter what you do because we took so much care and preparation into this process to begin with. So, cheers. Gotta go with it. Ah, hoorah. Get your sauce, boom. Be generous, because they soak them in. Give them a nice toss like that. Oh, look at those, man, they look great. Hey, hey, mommy. These look good. Oh man, finish them off with that little drizzle on the top. Boom. Looks beautiful, right? Let's try those actually. Oh. Feel on the side. Oh man, dude, the, the sauce is actually bringing out smoke a little more. I don't have anything on my face, do I? Because of that super dry skin on the outside, the fryer really encapsulates all that flavor inside the wing. Um, this is phenomenal. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right guys, thank you for watching. As always, make sure to subscribe, hit the notifications button, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Who cares at this point? I love what I'm doing. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. See you next week.